The theme for week four of Advent is celebrate whatever your circumstances. That may be the most important theme of all, one that hits all of us directly, regardless of what we're going through. I hope the devotions of this week, as well as our Sunday worship service, help you to wrestle with how we do that. Hear these beautiful words that come to us from the old Appalachian carol, I Wonder As I Wander. When Mary birthed Jesus, t'was in a cow's stall, with wise men and farmers and shepherds and all. But high from God's heaven, a starlight did fall, and the promise of ages it then did recall. And here are these familiar words from chapter 2 of Luke, verses 6 and 7, describing Joseph and Mary's journey to Bethlehem. While they were there, the time came for her to deliver her child. And she gave birth to her firstborn son and wrapped him in bands of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no place for them in the inn. This week, we're using that manger, that humble birth, not at all what we would describe as ideal circumstances in which a baby might be born, as an image of what we're called to do. Mary was able to celebrate despite the unusual circumstances. We are called to do different things. We wrestle with different things, but we too are called to celebrate whatever our circumstances. Think about these questions and maybe find someone with whom you can share thoughts about these questions. What part of Christmas do you enjoy celebrating most? Have you ever had that after Christmas feeling that you had somehow missed honoring Jesus' birth? What circumstances are you facing this year that are less than ideal? And this one. How can you make certain that you do celebrate Jesus' birth this year? Let's pray. Dear God, remind us today that we can celebrate the miracle birth of your son, even in less than ideal circumstances. Help us to truly honor you, no matter what the days ahead may bring. Amen. The theme for week four of Advent is celebrate whatever your circumstances. Here are the words of this stanza from the old song, Once in Royal David City, by Cecil F. Alexander. He came down to earth from heaven, who is God and Lord of all. And his shelter was a stable, and his cradle was a stall. With the poor, the scorned, the lowly, lived on earth our Savior holy. Here are some Advent suggestions that have worked well for others. Be anonymous. If your circumstances permit, help someone else celebrate by asking the Lord to put on your heart the name of a person who could use a little extra money at the last minute. Maybe it's a single parent. Maybe an older person who comes to mind. Arrange to give your gift anonymously so that the recipient is able to offer all the thanks to God. Here's another. Go people watching at the airport. Put on your mask and go down to the airport bus station. Pay attention to what you see and maybe eavesdrop a little bit. If you have children with you, talk about the long, hard journey Joseph and Mary had to take while she was expecting a child. Maybe you can even find a wary traveler to bless. Maybe this isn't the year to hand things out, but you might still find a way to be a blessing. If nothing else, Offer a nod. Hear these familiar words from chapter 2 of Luke, verses 8 and 9. In that region, there were shepherds living in the fields, keeping watch over their flock by night. Then an angel of the Lord stood before them, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were terrified. Let us pray. Almighty God, your angels announced Christ's birth to ordinary shepherds out in their dusty fields. 
Help us remember that we can celebrate Christmas, no matter how ordinary or less than ideal our lives might be. Amen. The theme for week four of Advent is celebrate whatever your circumstances. Listen to this brief quote from Marie Champion. There is no better place for me to become like Jesus than my present circumstances. Did you hear that? There is no better place for me to become like Jesus than my present circumstances. Here's some Advent suggestions that have worked for others. Check your impulse. Be aware of your impulse to focus on the negative during the Advent season. Sometimes Christians are the worst at this. This is especially true when circumstances seem less than ideal. It's one thing to get negativity off of our chest, but consistently sharing negative words can actually make things worse. Are you constantly reciting a litany of woes? Keep God's promises in mind. Do you still have those post-up notes at the house? Choose to testify to the goodness of God, even in the face of real and pressing problems. In your private prayers, thank God for every evidence of his care, both large and small, regardless of whether your major problems have been resolved. Here's another, gather the people in your household and read the entire Christmas story from the Gospel of Luke, from verse 1 of chapter 1 all the way through verse 20 of chapter 2. One could read while others listen, or you can take turns reading the verses. Hear these words from that very story. Chapter 2 of the Gospel of Luke, verses 10 and 11. We are still out in the fields with the shepherds. The angel said to them, Do not be afraid, for see, I am bringing you good news of great joy for all the people. For to you is born this day in the city of David a Savior, who is Messiah the Lord. Let us pray. Father, in our present circumstances, let us experience great joy in selling, celebrating, the birth of our Savior. Amen. The theme for week four of Advent is celebrate whatever your circumstances. This is a quote from a church bulletin from Syracuse, New York. There was a gift for each of us left under the tree of life 2,000 years ago by him who, whose birthday we celebrate. The gift was withheld from no one. Some have left the packages unclaimed. Some have accepted the gift and carry it around, but have failed to remove the wrappings and look inside to uncover the hidden splendor. The packages, packages are all alike. In each is a scroll in which is written. I've already opened my package. All that the Father has is now yours. Take and live. Wouldn't it be wonderful if one of the blessings during this pandemic would be more packages unwrapped to discover the hidden splendor of God's love. Here are some Advent suggestions that have worked for others. Go on a Christmas search. Don't minimize the things you have already accomplished this month. Take some time to search for ways this has already been the best Christmas ever. When I was searching for batteries, I opened a drawer and much to my surprise, I found three boxes of Christmas cards. 
I sat down that night and began to write Christmas messages to friends and family. Think back about God's role in things. What has God done for you this Christmas season? What has God done through you for others this Christmas season? Where have you seen his hand at work? As I look back through this past year, God has played a big, or I should say, a huge role in making this the best Christmas ever. Sometimes our circumstances hits us hard, knocks us off our feet, and can turn our world upside down, especially this year, 2020, COVID. And some, like myself, have lost loved ones. For me, this year, God's presence has opened my heart to have hope, peace, joy, and most of all, my faith has gotten stronger. Here's another. Some people place lights in the windows of their home or apartment. Some use oil lit glass lanterns around the house at Christmas time. In the Southwest, people line their walks and driveways with luminary, which are like paper bags with sand on the bottom to anchor a votive cup, just like the one next to me. The light, the way, for the Christ child. As a family, think about how to use light as a sign of Christ's arrival this Christmas and allow your own light shine through to others this Christmas season. Hear these familiar words from the angel to the shepherds in chapter two of Luke, verse 12 through 14. This will be a sign for you. You will find a child wrapped in bands of cloth and lying in a manger. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, glory to God in the highest heavens and on earth peace among those whom he, whom he favors. Let us pray. Father, let your son's birth be a sign to us as it was to the shepherds, a sign of your unfailing love. Help us to celebrate your great gift, no matter our circumstances this Christmas. Amen.